In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best blitzes in Madden NFL 21, and it's going to bring a gap pressure at your opponent. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my Madden 21 Tips and Tricks channel. This channel is completely devoted to helping you get better at Madden NFL 21, and we do that through different things. We do that through four videos a day on YouTube where we talk about different tips and different strategies for you of how to get better. But one of the other ways that you can be involved with the channel is through joining our Discord. Our Discord is the best place really to not only get tips and tricks from me, but to get tips and tricks from other people as well and to be able to lab with other people and all that fun stuff. So I wanted to show you this blitz here, 4-6 bear. And basically you want to put your fastest acceleration players um, at these spots right here. So I've got Rivers, Winovich, and Brandon King. And the play that you're going to run, it doesn't really matter. It's a universal setup. But the play that it's going to work best from is the play Wall Stunt. Because it's already got the players blitzing that we need. So we're just going to use uh, Wall Stunt. So all you're going to do, this is a very, very simple breakdown. You're going to base a line. You're going to crash your defensive line to the left. And then from there... What I like to do is take that right side backer that's woodsing and put him in a zone. It doesn't matter the zone, you can put him in whatever you want. I personally like to put him in a, in a vertical hook zone most of the time. And then all I'm gonna do is QB contain rush and I'm gonna come down in this area right here with McCourty. Right in here, just so the center can kind of, just and, and basically I'm just gonna use her and I'm gonna run down to the left. You don't have to do this, this just adds, it, adds a little bit better of a setup. So snap of the ball, and you're gonna see you're gonna get that A-gap pressure. Again, this is a very simple blitz. It's a four-man A-gap, which I think is pretty, pretty nice um, for some pressure. All you're doing is you're zoning the linebacker on the right side of the screen. You're gonna crash your line to the left, and you're gonna keep it contained. That's literally all you do. You do need to base the line. It's gonna allow your guys to align a little bit better. And then I like to use her either the safety or Dante Hightower. Typically in 4-6, I like to use her the safety, but you're going to see at the snap of the ball, you're going to come in. Now that time it did not come in because I was on the wrong side of the field. You do want to be on the left side of the field when you run this. So I'll show you this to you one more time here. So if I'm on the side of the field, you'll see the center is going to mess up. The, it's going to glitch him out and he's going to kind of fight through that A-gap pressure. Now, what people are going to do to stop this is they're going to double team the the nose guard, right? The, the nose guard. That's why I like to send four. Um, so that's why I like to send four. So basically what we'll do in that situation is with this guy right here, you can leave him on a contain or you can re-blitz him. It doesn't really matter. Either way, it's going to work. But you're going to see right here, I'm going to double team the nose guard. And at the snap of the ball, I'm going to get that left side edge pressure. Again, it's a simple four down lineman rush, overload pressure concept. But what I like about sending the four man is you're going to be able to get serious pressure. If you tried to zone him out, you'll see here, um, if I try to zone both of those guys out and crash line left, because you need that crash, and then you would QB contain, you'll see you're still, you're still gonna get some glitchy uh, up the middle pressure. Not as consistent for sure, but you are still gonna get some pressure. But what's going to happen is if they double team, if they double team the nose guard, there's no one, there's no cavalry. There's nothing going to happen. You see that it's going to be basic shed D. You're not going to get any pressure. So the four man guarantees that you're going to get some type of pressure. You're either going to get edge pressure or you're gonna get a gap pressure. Obviously, we always want the a gap pressure. It doesn't always happen. One other thing you can do is just put your guy on a blitz and make sure that he's lined up on this left left hand side. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball. I think we I think we accidentally um, I think we did something to the line. But you'll see you will get that pressure to come in. And part of this is because when you run the same blitz over and over again in practice mode, for whatever reason, um, it kind of glitches out everything. So if we went out and came back in, you would see this blitz work. But this is a very basic blitzing concept right here, right up the middle. And you see, you're typically going to get one to two people free. And 
you might get a little bit of a, a chip block, but it's going to eventually shed and he's going to disengage and get in there for you. So that is some A-gap pressure for you today in Madden 21. If you guys want to pick up my full defensive ebook that has more of these kind of setups in it, more of these defenses, but also shows you how to make the coverage behind it better, you can do that by going to the description below, picking up my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. Our first ebook coming out is on the 4-6 playbook. We're centering on nickel 55 and 4-6 and 3-4 bear uh, for the first one. So hopefully this video was helpful. There's going to be some other tips that are going to come up on the screen. Again, guys, I post four times a day here on my YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe. And if you want to get access to all of my content, make sure that you join my Discord. That link is in the description below. As below. And I will be streaming tonight again at 10 o'clock Eastern time right here on my YouTube channel. Would love to see you guys come hang out for that live stream.